All right, looking at our second lesson, we're going to talk about order of operations with exponents. So we can use order of operations with exponents. So again, looking at our exponents, okay, we have our base number, and then we have the exponent, okay? Now, the base number, so exponents are really like repeated multiplication, so what I mean by that is that 2 to the 5th power really means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So again, if I'm thinking about it, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have to repeat my base number. I have to multiply it by how big my exponent is. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4, 8, 16, this is going to equal 32. 2 to the 5th power is 32. Do not, do not, do not say, oh, 2 to the 5th power, that equals 2 times 5, which equals 10. No, it does not, okay? That is a super common mistake that students do. Okay, please, please, please do not do that when you are doing exponents. So, some things that we can do, and again, you will see exponents as you continue to move forward with your math classes, because it's an easier way to write out problems. So, for example, I have negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. That occurs three times. Now, it is super important when you have a negative number, you need to use a parenthesis because here's why. If you use a parenthesis, it, this is like saying negative five times negative five times negative five. If I don't use a parenthesis, all this exponent applies is directly to this five. It doesn't account for anything. So this would be like saying five times five times five with a negative one out front. So again, the difference is that we want to multiply negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, not 5 times 5 times 5, and then multiply by a negative 1 as well. So you have to be conscious of how you use parentheses, and if you do have a negative number, you need to put your base number in parentheses. All right, so as I look, I see in this next example, I have a times a times a, it's multiplied three times. So I'm gonna take negative two, a to the third power times b. Negative two, a to the third power times b. Again, negative two only occurs one time and b only occurs one time. So again, it's like having an exponent of one. This is like saying b to the first power, but we don't need to write that not quite necessary all right let's see here so a microscope can magnify a specimen 10 to the third times how many times is that so again a microscope you might use in science class to see super small cells or something like that again 10 to the third power means I need to repeat my base number. 10 times 10 times 10, which is going to give me 1,000. So this is a microscope can make it 1,000 times bigger. And this is what we've led up to is simplifying using order of operations. So again, I still want to follow PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So I do have some parentheses first. So I'm going to simplify. I'm going to keep the 4 on the outside. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then I'm going to square it. So parentheses, check. E stands for exponents. So again, maybe I do some side work. I say 5 squared. That's like saying 5 times 5, 
which equals 25. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 times 25 exponents. Check. And then my last set is multiplication and division. I see that 4 times 25 equals 100. So I can check that off as well. So for part B, again, I have an X value. I see X here and X equals negative two. And then I have a Y value and Y equals three. So I'm gonna rewrite this problem. Before I solve it, I'm not gonna solve anything until I rewrite it. Negative two, every time I see an X, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna plug in a negative two and I'm gonna use parentheses. Negative two to the third plus four. Every time I see a Y, instead of writing Y, I'm gonna write a three. Okay, so now I gotta think, all right, I have parentheses, but I can't really simplify anything in them. They're just the numbers, so I'm good with my parentheses. I do have exponents. So I'm gonna take, again, I'm gonna do some side work. I'm gonna say negative two to the third power is like saying negative two times negative two times negative two. Negative two times negative two is positive four. Four times negative two is negative eight. So I'm gonna say that this can be rewritten as negative eight plus four times three. Um, something for you to notice, again, if I'm multiplying by a negative number and my exponent is odd, I'm always gonna end up with a negative number because again, I'm gonna end up like I did right here with a positive times a negative. If, and again, this is like a side work, but if, I have a even number in my exponent, like a four, you'll notice, hey, I'm gonna actually end up with a positive because negative two times negative two is four, negative two times negative two is four, positive times positive equals positive. So if you have an even exponent, your answer is going to be positive. If you have an odd exponent, your answer is going to be negative. So that's something, again, as you continue to develop your number sense, you can recognize, hey, because I know that I'm gonna get an even, or an, a positive times a negative, it's always gonna equal a negative. Because I know I'm gonna end up with a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative, I'm always going to end up with a positive. Okay, negative two times eight, excuse me, negative two times negative eight, negative times negative is a positive, and four times three is 12. So exponents are done, multiplication is done, I don't have any division, I do have some addition to do, 16 plus 12 gives me 28.